What up you guys, welcome back to Pro Publications YouTube channel, as always with me Rich. And today I want to talk about Javier Hernandez. In particular, I want to talk about El Muerto Requiem, which is a comic book I purchased but haven't had a chance to talk about until this moment. Well, to begin with, I am a big Javier Hernandez fan. Bam. And I'm missing my Manga Muerto because I lent it out to somebody. But that's also part of the collection. Um, there's another book dropping soon. Can't wait to get it. Of course, I'm going to buy it as soon as it drops, the comic. And then he's going to do the whole graphic novel later on this year as well, I hope. Or maybe next year. Not too sure. Uh, but nonetheless, some of the things I want to mention about El Muerto Requiem was... Just the, sh the general shit that I like about Javier Hernandez and the reason why I've been able to follow him for so long. The narrative is strong, right? And not only is the narrative strong, the art is strong. So to begin with off the back, you have these two strong points. But for me, even more so than that, is that it really is... Javier Hernandez as an artist understands and embraces and advocates his Chicano culture through his art. And that, for me, makes it very powerful, right? Going back to that point of representation of if we're not being represented is because we're not representing ourselves. Because nowadays we have the means and capabilities of doing just that. And so for me, it's powerful to read and to see this imagery and these stories that Javier is telling and, and the way the characters pop and the way the characters communicate. And it just feels real and authentic to me. Another thing that he does, and I've talked about it before with Maniac Priest, is that he uses the real L.A. culture backdrop, like the city is its own little character. And for someone like me that I'm from fucking L.A., love it even more. Um, one of the things that I do want to tell everyone is there is a movie called El Muerto. Here's the trailer if you haven't seen that. <laughs> And so for me, as I got deeper and deeper into this character and the mythos, I just don't understand how this character is not more known or more embraced by the community. Like, I, I really think this character is an amazing character. The story structure, the stories that he tells through this character are fucking great. Never mind that some of it is real fun and kind of slapstick and silly. That in itself is fun as fuck as well. But like there's some shit that's just fucking rough, man. And I'm going to show you guys some of, some of the artwork for El Muerto Requiem. It's fucking amazing. So let's get into that. Real classy on me. Signed it for me. El Muerto Requiem. The art is very powerful. It just has a style. It's, you know what I mean? Like I always talk about how like as an artist, you want to create a style where, where someone sees it, they know it's you, right? And I know the homie's a big Kirby fan, but Kirby is one of those as well, right? When you see a Kirby drawing, no matter how many people imitate the Kirby style, you know that that was a Jack Kirby. You know, and same thing, like, right? This art, and it, and it has so much emotion emitted through this. Look at this face, right? But, like... It's very lyrical as well. The way he writes, so lyrical. Right? There you go, embracing some more of that Chicanoism, right? One of those things of like, it's subversive just because it exists, but it doesn't overdo it. But there's one panel in particular that I just love, man. I just gotta show this shit off. I love this panel. With the hair wet from the blood. Right? Love that page. That fucking page is good. Never mind, like everything in this is good. But it's so lyrical. Like throughout all of it, it's like a long poem. And it's just it's just amazing. And it basically it's like this long story about fucking like rebirth. That's that's a self portrait of the homie right there. You know, and there, and it goes into like this long history of it. And then some fan art and things like that. But yeah, love this comic. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today, man. I hope you guys really check out the homie Javier Hernandez. Check out his YouTube channel. Buy some of his comics. And if you get the chance, go ahead and watch that flick. Um, as always, like I say, like it's up to us to 
you know, empower and amplify marginalized voices and really make ourselves be heard and seen and give our fucking stories through our perspective and create characters that really reflect us as a community or as just an individual. You know what I mean? Like, all of that shit really does matter. It's the way we get different perspectives and we create a sense of empathy. Um, But nonetheless, all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Fight the fascists.